Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, this is part of March Madness and today's feature is LA Girl Cosmetics. Um, I have a lot of products that I want to kind of talk to you guys about briefly. I'm not going to go through each and every color of every item that I have. I'm going to talk about the product or the item as a whole, okay? Um, about a year ago, I got a box full of LA Girl products. Um, and I also went to the LA Girl headquarters and I was able to pick out some things and um, share them at my own discretion. And so I'm finally getting around to sharing how I feel about these products with you. Some of the items I've, I've used just for the first time, okay? Some of the items um, I paid for myself. Um, quite a few of them I paid for them myself and I, and I had quite a few of the products before. I um, received free PR stuff, okay? The first thing I used was the LA Girl Pro BB Cream. Now, I found this at my local beauty supply. They had the display there, and, and what drew me to this was the fact that it was part of their Pro line, and I'm already in love with a couple things from their Pro line, so I said, ooh, maybe that's, you know, that might be a good product, so I tried it. Uh, this color here is deep, and it comes in two brown colors, deep and dark. Dark is darker than deep. Okay, so dark is the darkest color. Deep is obviously closer to my color. I am wearing it now. And as you can see in the demo here, as I apply it, it is a very, very light coverage. It uh, feels like a BB cream. It feels very uh, moisturizing. Uh, however, there is not much coverage. As you can see, I'm using a beauty blender as well to apply it. And I will eventually have to go in and apply another layer to get a little bit more uh, coverage. Um, this is a BB cream. It is not a foundation, you guys. So don't expect like, don't expect full coverage from this. Don't even expect medium coverage from this. This is a BB cream, okay? And for $5, which is what I paid for this, about five bucks, um, I would say it's a very decent BB cream. Um, I will come back later and tell you guys, you know, show you guys how this face held up. So stay tuned for that, you guys. Okay, so next up are the Pro Concealers. These right here, you guys, look, all right? They come in so many colors, and that is what drew a lot of people to these things because it's very rare when you go into a beauty supply and you see concealers like this, okay? from the lightest to the darkest color. Like, it's very, very rare. So, of course, it's gonna get some attention. LA Girl was very, very smart with these by extending their color range and being sure to include the brown beauties, okay? So, these things have been a love, a favorite of mine, of others. Y'all know these things are amazing. They are touted to be very similar to Max Pro Longwear Concealer, and I will have to say it is true. Um, I grab these more than I grab my Pro Longwear Concealer. I've had my Pro Longwear for a very long time, but for some reason, I just grab these. I love these. I love them. Yes, you do have to set them, um, but the lasting power, the opacity is just everything. You can use them under your eye, although. They are a bit drying, okay? So if you have extremely dry skin or mature skin, I do not recommend this, okay? They are, try a creamier concealer, like maybe Nars's Creamy Concealer or a actual cream concealer underneath your eye if you have mature skin and, um, you know, it's, it's really dry under your eye. These right here, though, are awesome. I love them. Um, you can also use them to spot treat. If you can find one very close to your skin tone, or, um, you know, you can use it as a spot concealer. It's just really, really awesome. The ones that I use the most are Fawn and Toffee, these two right here. These are a 100% recommendation. These are yummy, 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 okay? These are like one of the number one things from LA Girl, okay? If you don't have anything else, these are the products to get from LA Girl. If you have nothing else, get these, okay? Try them. Okay, so I have one of their translucent powders. This one is just called translucent, and this is the packaging. It looks like that. All right, and that is the color. Now, I'm very leery about powders like this because, you know, I'm just leery. It was pretty translucent. It didn't really come off as light as it does in the compact. It didn't really come off as light as it is in the compact, so I was pleased by that. 
Um, as far as controlling oil or lasting power, I don't trust this for that. So I ended up using a different powder. Uh, would I purchase this? No, I would not purchase this. I'm not really interested in this. It doesn't seem like it does much for me. The powder for me is a no. Okay, so this product right here is an absolute favorite of mine. I've used it so much that the name just wore off. Like, there's... This is the LA Girl eyeliner gel eyeliner in brown listen okay it comes in a cute little package i've had this for a while i don't have the packaging anymore but it comes in a cute little package with a little brush and that type of thing i did use a brush briefly but i have brushes that i absolutely love to use to do my eyebrows with and that's what i use this for i don't use it for eyeliner i use it for my brows and I've been using this for my brows for about a year now, maybe even more. If you don't want to pay big money for a brow gel, these are good alternatives, you guys. These are really good alternatives. Um, this one here is a nice warm. This one here is a nice warm brown. I love it so very much. You can see I, you can see I, I dug into that. And it costs a dollar ninety nine, you guys. You cannot beat it. Okay, for those of you who want to experience what is you know, who want some kind of alternative to paying the 18 to 20, 22 dollars for a brow gel. You guys can use this and it, it, and, and it lasts. It does not rub off. It is waterproof or water resistant, whatever. It's a gel liner, so it works to, it, it, so it stays put, okay? This is not like super duper uber. This is not cheapy. This one is a yes. This one is a yes. All right, so these are new to me, um, and I love them. At least I love one of them. I haven't tried the white or the black one. But these are the Pro Primers that they came out with. I have one in like a skin tone. It works very well as a base for your eyeshadows. Um, you know, against our skin, you know, you, you need a lighter color sometimes to get those colors to pop. This one does it. The white one does it. Okay. And the black one does it. When you have those dark looks, those smoky eye looks, or you have a certain pigment that really, really pops on top of a black base. Boom, there it is. So if you have an eyeshadow primer, that, that works well for you. For instance, I use the Milani eyeshadow primer. I love that one. If you still use the Too Faced eyeshadow insurance or, you know, primer potions and all that type of thing. If you do use any of those, you have to put a eye primer underneath this. Even though this is a primer, okay, pro primer, honey, no, it's going to crease. It's, it creases. Using this by itself, it's going to crease. All right, it is drier than the NYX pencils. It's not as as well. The black one is pretty dang on creamy, but I do know that this this one here, this one here is a lot drier. Now, if you want to if you want to see swatches of these, again, the link to my blog is down below. I have a serious post on all this stuff. So if you want more pictures, you can always go there. So let's talk about eyeshadows. This is going to be really quick. I do have a few of their eyeshadows in the single pots, and that is what they look like, like this. I have Mimosa, which is a light bronzy color, and then I um, Sangria, Sangria, which is kind of like a lilac color. Now these are all shimmery, okay? And not all of the textures are the same. You get some that are pretty decent, some that are flaky and disgusting, like this one. This one is Pina Colada, and I do not like the texture on this. It's like one of those flaky, weird. I yeah, I don't, I mean, that's what, a, that's a swatch of it, but it flakes when you touch it, so you really have to kind of like rub it in so those little flakes of whatever, those powdery flakes don't get everywhere, um, and I don't like, they all kind of look like an ashy, they all kind of look ashen. You know what I mean? Even though they have color, it's just not enough pigmentation, not enough power in these shadows. Okay, this one here is this one here is black licorice. This is probably the best one. Now, I would definitely use this one for a smoky eye. Um, the texture on this is nice. The blendability on this is nice. There's no weirdness with this at all. And the pigmentation is decent. It's a charcoal color. It's not extremely black. It's kind of like a charcoal color, okay? But black licorice is probably the best one that I have. And then um, this one here is called Crystal Cocktail. No. And this one is Strawberry Daiquiri. Definitely a no. This one, again, is one of those flaky, weird textured ones. It's just, it's just, you know what? Don't. Just don't. Now, they have these new 
um, like tin pan, I think it's tin pan, tin pan eyeshadow palettes out now. Um, like the nudes, a smoky, and I think like a real colorful one. Um, those are their latest LA Girl palettes that they have out. Uh, you can check the reviews on YouTube and see how those, you, you know, but I, I don't have them and I'm not going to, I'm not going to, and I'm not going to buy them. I'm not a fan of the eyeshadows. I don't think I'll be a fan of those either. I'm cool on eyeshadows. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I just, mm, I say no. It's a no on the eyeshadows for me, y'all. It's a no. So I'm not even going to waste any more time on the shadows, okay? Okay, so next up are the eyeliners, and that is what I have on. I decided to just go with eyeliner, and I used the thick Mark My Eyes uh, Long Lasting Extreme Bold Eyeliner. This one right here. This one here I've had for a little while. I haven't used it that much, but I've had it for a while, and this is the one that I used today. This is the newer one, okay, and this one is definitely a lot more pigmented than the one that I've used just a few times. So after a while, they kind of start, they kind of lose the power, it gets a little blurred, not as black, and you feel like, I felt like I had to keep applying this to my eye to get the depth that I wanted. So I'm not sure that these last very long, you guys, um, you know, if you use it every day for a week, you might get the best use out of it. Extremely easy to use, especially if you like a thicker line. Very easy, especially if you like a cat liner like I do. Very easy. However, um, it just it just looks kind of it looks kind of faded and not as not as rich, not as opaque as I would like it to look. It just looks like a faded marker on my eye. Also, with these felt eyeliners. When you use these on top of when you use them on top of eyeshadow, it dries out the eyeliner. It does. And so that's what's happened with this one. Um, because I've used it a few times on top of my eyeshadow looks, uh, it kinda lost its power. It lost its oomph. It just it kinda got a little dull and, 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 and not so cool. Okay? So that is the risk you take when you use these. I prefer liquid or gel liners. The Fine Line one, I absolutely love this one. This one lasts a lot longer than the thicker one, than that Mark My whatever. Um, however, it still dries out rather quickly. It still dries out faster than I would like for it to. This thing is awesome the first week you use it. All right, so I got a couple mascaras. The only one I really use is the Booming Lash one here. It's a drier formula. Um, it wasn't it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst either. So mm, I don't know. All right, so let's talk about the eyeliners. I'm gonna tell you right now, I love them. I love them. They have a few formulas in the eyeliners. They have the Glide Gel liners, which are awesome in a whole bunch of different colors. They are awesome, you guys, and I have a lot of colors. So if you want to see the colors I have and pictures of the colors, you can go to, like, I have pictures on the blog. Today I used this purple one, Purple Fizz, in the waterline and underneath the waterline just to add a little pop of color. Last all day, easy to glide on. This one here is the semi-permanent auto eyeliner, okay? This one lasts all day. I'm not mad at these. I am very impressed by the eyeliners. Very impressed, very impressed, okay? Very nice. Again, pictures on the blog. Check those out. Another favorite are the lip liners. I love them. I love them. They're, they're 99 cents at your local beauty supply. You cannot beat it. They have an amazing array of colors. Again, they have a, a few. They have a few formulas. They also have the semi. Per, they have the semi permanent formula lip liner where you know you roll it up. <sighs> awesome. And they also have the typical pencil formula here okay this one is in dark purple y'all listen i don't need a 20 dollar lip liner honey no way i don't need this one is my favorite let me talk about my favorite one this one here spice too bad it's not sharpened but this spice one is my favorite for like orangey corally uh lipsticks you know what i'm saying like ugh, that's what the color is it's kind of like an orangey brown color but these lip liners are a go, you guys. They are a must-have. If, you if you're not with paying $20, $18 for a lip liner, look, you better go to the beauty supply store and get some of these. This is not a joke. Not a joke. Now, let's get to the glazed lip paints. Love. 
Love them. Love them. Do you understand me? Love these glazed lip paints. The one I have on my lips is called Pin Up. Very easy red to wear, not too pop. But I guess, if, but if you load this up on your lips, it'll be a lot more, you know, pal. But I like the formula in these. They kind of dry down to like a satin. Um, I love them. And this one right here plays no games. This, this one here, Tempt. No games, no games. A dark purple lip liner with this. <sighs> I'm going to have to do some swatches, some lip swatches for you guys. I'm just going to have to. There are plenty here on YouTube if you don't want to wait on me. So many ladies here on YouTube have posted videos, lip swatches of these. Be, type it in the Google search and type it in the YouTube search and look, watch those videos, you guys, if you want to see it right now. I don't know when I'm going to get around to doing that. But listen, these, yep, yep, love, love. They're not matte at all, y'all. They're not matte. You may get a satin, you may get a demi matte, and some of them they may set to a demi matte or satin, or even some of them, some of them may even stay a little bit glossy. But look, they're very similar to the OCC lip tars, you guys. Very, very similar. They smell just the same. They are just the opacity is awesome. Definitely, definitely worth going to get you some. Okay, try a couple, try one, see if you like it, like I did. I tried one because you know I try to be a little sensible. I tried one, went back, got a whole bunch more. That's how it was. That's how it was for me. So lastly is the blush, and this one this is what it looks like right here. The color this, the color of this is Coral Heat. Very nice formula. Very smooth. You get a lot of product, and you get a lot of products in this little thing. You get uh, seven seven point four grams in here. The packaging is extremely cheap. And it will break up very easily. It's just extremely rickety. Just really. But it's inexpensive. It's inexpensive. Okay, you lift this up. You get a mirror and a brush. Hey, there you go. Use it with a really fluffy brush. Because the pigmentation on this is... Oh, the pigmentation on this is stupid. It's stupid. Um, it would do them well, though, to have an orange. I wish they had an orange blush. They don't. They don't have any orange or orangey types of blushes, um, they really need to get on that. And a lot of the finishes are kind of like satiny shimmery, okay? So be aware of that as well. They don't, um, when I went down there, it wasn't a lot of matte blushes. They kind of all have this like sheen to them. Uh, but the formula is really good for the price. Formula is really good for the price. They also have lipsticks, which I did not use, but the lipsticks are really, really impressive. Very, very impressive lipsticks. This one is called Sexy. Again, I have swatches. Look at that. Okay, that's just one that's swatch of that one. I have three that are really, really cool new colors for brown skin tones, and I was really, really happy about that. Look at that. I really hope, I hope you guys can look at that. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful color. This one is called Kiss and Tell, Forbidden Love. And that's a pinky nude right there. Okay, gorgeous, just gorgeous. And lastly, this one is called Amour, and this one is also very nice. It's more of a brown, it's a little bit darker, kind of a browny, pinky brown nude. All right, beautiful nude. The formulas, really, really nice. Really, really nice. Pair it with one of these semi-permanent, pair it with one of their semi-permanent auto lip liners. Yes, yes, yes. So that's it, you guys. That is my LA Girls Psycho Haul Demo First Impression Whatever. Uh, <laughs> okay, so it's a few hours later, and I am absolutely ready to take this off of my face. Um, as far as the wear of the BB Cream, I would say it's a pretty decent product for everyday type of easy coverage. For the, for the price, it's pretty good. Uh, would I purchase it again? Probably not because I have other products that I love more than that. I don't love it. You know what I'm saying? It's not a love. It's not something that's like, ooh, I got ooh, yes. If I have to have that at all times or I want to try it again. Or, or you know how sometimes you get something that's really good and you like try it once or twice and you're, you already, you already want to buy another one like that same day. That's when a product is just like, mmm, yeah. But this, eh, you know, if you want to try it, try it. If you don't want to try it, that's fine too. 
So after a few hours, as you can see, I'm a little shiny. You would have to touch up with some powder or whatnot or blot your face. Um, but other than that, you guys, that is it. So that's just a quick little review on that BB cream hours later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.